Welcome. Uh, this session is intended to provide a little additional insight into the homework assignment this week surrounding the allocation of indirect costs. As you may know from reading your working your textbook, um, there are three uh, types of costs that we talk about. Uh, direct, indirect, and mixed. Direct costs are those which are directly attributable to a particular operating unit um, of your organization. And indirect costs are those that um, benefit the organization as a whole and therefore cannot be completely assigned to one particular uh, portion of the operation. And finally, mixed costs are a combination of both direct and indirect cost. In this assignment, you are being asked to undertake the process of allocating certain indirect costs. This is a uh, very common exercise within um, healthcare uh, facilities because this is the basis of the Medicare cost report uh, that's filed by um, almost all organizations on an annual basis. Um, so if we turn to page 466 um, of your textbook, of the fourth edition of Baker and Baker, um, you'll see assignment exercise 6.1, allocating indirect costs. So what you're being asked to do here is to use the information on page 466 to build a new table that looks like this table on page five, uh, 55. Um, the assignment also requires that you do this, build this table in Excel. And by saying build it in Excel, that means you need to utilize the formulas in doing the calculations. Um, so if we go back to page 466 for a moment, um, what you'll see is, um, let me just hang on a second here. Okay, so what we'll see, you see this uh, row here of visits, and you see these numbers here, um, PT 9600 as an example. So what we're looking to do is to replace this row of information, okay, with the information that we see on page 466. So, for instance, here, visits, volume, PT equals 8,500. If you look on page 466, visits, volume, PT equals 9,600. So we're trying to put these new numbers into the table um, that we find on page uh, 55. This is relatively easy to do in Excel once you figure out kind of the trick to it. And the trick is that each of these numbers, right, PT, OT, um, speech, and the totals, and the same with direct costs, but each of these numbers, as well as uh, allocation C, each of these numbers, each of these numbers needs to go in its own cell in your worksheet. All right, and that way, once you have these numbers established in a separate in, in a separate cell, that way you can run your formula and do do the calculation. Um, so if you go back to page 466 for a moment, um, you'll see you are being asked to change the allocation method. Right, that's really what this does, um, and so. The allocation basis here is A, and the indirect cost to be allocated is $60,000, all right? And so the question is, um, how, are we going to, how are we going to allocate these $60,000 of, uh, $60, of clerical salaries to each of the operating units, physical therapy, occupational therapy, and speech therapy? 
And by using allocation basis A, which are these numbers of visits, we will, uh, we will change the data that you see in this column. Right? Because it, the, the process here is each of these numbers, 8,500, 4,000, 2,500, represent a portion of the total 15,000 visits and thus a portion of the $60,000 in indirect cost that's going to be allocated. If we look at page 466 again, um, here we have 9,600 uh, physical therapy, 4,000 occupational therapy, and 2,400 in speech therapy, a total of 16,000. Okay? So that's basically the um, explanation of the homework. And um, if you have further questions with respect to this assignment, please feel free to visit me on Thursday evenings. Um, uh, during office hours or email me and I can try to express it in another way that is clearer for you. Thank you for joining me.